Okay, you can add a little bit of milk if you like to these. For this, I don't because I, I like the olive oil and the garlic. It has more of a, um, like a Mediterranean flavor. Oh, you know, I almost forgot. My favorite ingredient, salt, a little salt. Okay, mash them back up again. All right, we're done. We're done with the side dishes. Now in a couple of minutes, our, uh, our filled lettuce leaves will be baked to perfection. And then we'll put all this together. I'll get the mascarpone maple walnut cream going and um, we'll assemble this meal. You're gonna love this. This is a nice, a nice meal to have right in front of the fireplace. Okay. Okay. Now, we have our lettuce packages. Little lettuce packages have baked. They're ready. I just got them out of the oven. I'm gonna try to get one of these out of here intact to see how these, oh, piece of cake. Heck, I'll, I'll go for two. All right, they look nice too. And get a little sauce Ooh, right over top of that. All right, now, got my lima bean carrot mixture. A little bit of butter, mix it up. See how it shines? Look, can you see the shine on that? That's beautiful, isn't it? I love shiny food, don't you? A little bit like this. See, sometimes people say to me, well, vegetarians, there's always that empty spot on the plate where the chicken was, or the meatloaf. It's not necessary here. We have an entree, looks beautiful. And uh, here's your mashed potatoes. These have cooled off just slightly, but for demonstration purposes, they are perfect. Mmm, you can smell the garlic. Oof. It's nice, really nice. Okay, so. Here's your winter meal, right here, okay? I'm gonna set this aside and prepare the dessert that I have in mind, which is very simple. I love simple foods. This is mascarpone cream. Uh, it's, they call it a, where's the, mascarpone. Can you see that? That's how it's spelled, okay? So I take a little bit of this. It's like, uh, almost like a, cross between cream and cheese. Ooh, it's good. And I have a little bit of maple syrup here. This is dark. This is your grade B maple syrup. It's a little darker. I use it because it's more flavorful, okay? It has more maple flavor. It's not quite as sweet. Uh, it doesn't look quite as good on the table, but this isn't going to be served by itself. So i pour a little bit of that, maybe a teaspoon or so. Mix it up real nice. And this is going to require a little bit of sugar, okay? A little bit of sugar, sweeten it up good. You want this nice and sweet. See the nice color you got? It's a nice tan, creamy color. Mix this up. Okay, when you make this, give it uh, 15 or 20 minutes or so for the sugar to dissolve or if you're in a hurry, use powdered sugar or icing sugar. That will work really well. Okay, see, now this is the cream. Now what I wanna do, I wanna take a little dish, put a little bit of the cream in the dish, like a base, okay? And I have some walnuts. Sprinkle some walnuts in there, okay? A couple of thin slices of fresh pineapple, which is very, the pineapple has a nice acidity to it, and that helps to cut a little bit of the cream. The cream has a tendency to coat your mouth, and the, and the uh, now I take a little pastry bag, okay? I fold the fold the top down. I'm going to try to make a little bit of uh, the flour with the cream. So I take some cream. Put it into the pastry bag. Well, I can smell the garlic and the dill on those potatoes and, and the green beans. Oof. The lima beans, very good. Okay, push this down. And I'll take this 
and twist it, twist the top. And by twisting it, that prevents the cream from backing up. It'll come out. And I can make some little florets with this. Some little flowers on top of there. Well, just a little fancier design. Okay. Something in the center there. Just so, just so it has a nice look. Okay, so. This is our dessert. No cooking required. It's quick. You gotta like quick. But it's delicious, okay? So this meal comes together really nicely. And as I said, this is comfort food taken to the extreme. So, next time you're home, if it's a snowy day, next snowstorm, you can uh, prepare this meal, light a fire in the fireplace, get your dog and a friend, and enjoy a nice meal, nice winter meal. So thanks for joining me, Vegetarian Kitchen, and um, I hope you, uh, I hope you do try this meal and enjoy it, and um, come back again. We'll be doing some other uh, seasonal and non-seasonal foods. Thanks. <laughs>